Hi, this is Kirill from Calibri, and today we're going to dive deeper into how to uh, apply markers on the objects that you like to scan. For example, this car seat that uh, both has flat surfaces, as in here, and also some curved service, uh, surfaces, uh, as in here, and a lot of places where you would like to apply markers and how to do it properly. Why is it important when you apply markers on a surface? Because later on in the software you will be removing them with the algorithm of removing markers and sometimes when the uh, surface isn't flat, uh, somewhere here, when you remove uh, a marker, uh, the geometry of the uh, surface will be uh, corrupted a little bit. As you can see on this uh, 3D model, uh, the um, paper the marker was on is seen in the object and it's really hard to remove it, uh, so be careful with uh, surfaces that aren't completely flat. But also there are objects that almost don't have any flat surfaces at all. For example, this pipe that mostly is just uh, curved from all the sides um, aside from this flat surface here. So how to scan this pipe with uh, the markers? Uh, you don't have to put markers on the object uh, per se. You just can, for example, take your markers and apply them all around the object on the additional surface, as an example of that wall or floor or anything that surrounds the object. You could simply put or apply markers on any flat surface around the object. Try doing it in a chaotic random order. As you can see, there is no need to put markers on the object itself. All the parts of the pipe will have at least one marker in the point cloud, which means that the object will be finalized according to the coordinates of the markers. While scanning an object in the marker tracking mode, try moving as smoothly as possible. Make sure that you have at least five markers in the view of the scanner. Try to capture as much data as possible from all available angles. The most challenging part here is to find a common ground between capturing as much data as possible and having as many markers in the range of the Calibri as possible too. It's easy to have enough markers when you scan from the top, but once you tilt your scanner a little bit to the left or to the right, there is a possibility that the Calibri won't see enough markers and tracking will be lost. While applying markers onto flat objects, pay more attention to the edges. The more markers there are, the lower the chances of losing tracking. As you remember, there should be at least 5 markers in one frame, which means that to successfully transition from one side of the object to the other, you should either put enough markers on the edge or on the surface around the object. Otherwise, inner and outer surfaces of the object might not be parallel to each other. As you probably noticed, the door handle of this door is shiny, which may require some extra time to scan it. First off, remember to point a scanner at it not only from a side, but also from the top and from the bottom, in order to capture the inner and outer surfaces. The hard part here is still have enough markers in a frame, but also take into account that shiny surface has to be scanned at a 90 degree angle in order to capture as much data as possible. In general, scanning at a 90 degree angle always guarantees a better result. Uh, previously you saw two objects, uh, the pipe that didn't have any uh, flat surfaces and the door that had a lot of flat surfaces that you needed to connect from uh, two sides 
but uh, some objects exist that have some areas that are much easier to scan in the geometry mode, for example, that bath. And as you can see, there's a lot of areas that uh, possess a lot of distinct geometry, like uh, these walls. But overall, some areas would be much more easier to scan uh, with markers. For example, you can uh, apply them all over the object, on the floor, on the flat surfaces of, of the object. For example, uh, this uh, bottom of the bath and also that side of the bath that would be hard to scan without markers. And now let's apply markers on the areas that lack distinct geometry. You might be wondering what exactly I mean by distinct geometry of an object. And let me give you several examples. These two areas of the bottom of the bath are almost identical. Which means that the point clouds of those two areas might also look identical to each other, which can cause some misalignment in the project. On the other hand, we have this area which is unique to the whole project. Hence, there is no need for extra instructions like markers to pinpoint where in the project it belongs to. Normally, scanning in geometry tracking mode takes less time, so scan all the areas with unique and distinct geometry in this mode. For flat surfaces or surfaces that look the same, apply some markers on and use the marker tracking mode. Afterwards, you could combine the point clouds of one object captured in different tracking modes.